Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is what we have to write inside a dot bat file to execute Selenium scripts using testng. Let me answer and practically demonstrate that for you in this session. So we'll go from scratch. So first I will open this Eclipse ID and I'll create a new workspace. Okay, I'll say switch workspace and say other. And I'll browse for a location in my machine where I'll create. Okay, I'll simply name it something like a sample space. Okay, sample workspace and say select folder. This is a new workspace I'm creating for you, freshly. So we'll start from scratch because uh, a lot of people get confused like uh, how to create that bad file and what are the commands we have to run to run it from that file to execute the Selenium scripts using test ng. Okay. So we'll start from very basic scratch where I have just now created a workspace in Eclipse ID and the Eclipse ID will now launch in a while. Okay. Eclipse ID is launching. Let's wait for it. So Eclipse ID has been launched and you will get a welcome screen like this. I'll close this and uh, I'll just uh, close all this stuff. Now I'll simply create a new project. I'll just select this project and search for Java here. And in the filtered options, I'll get the Java either here or here, anything you can select. Click on next and give a name for this project. Okay. Let's say batch demo project. Okay. Click on finish. You can give any name here. Remember my region. Say open perspective. Okay. I'll just uh, minimize all this stuff except this one. Some demo project is there here. I'll expand this project, expand this SRC. Some default file is coming. I'll delete this file. Right click on this file and simply say delete and say okay. Now right click on this. SRC create a new package. Name this package as sample pack. And under this, create a new class. Just name the class as demo class. Demo class, you can give any name. Click on finish. The class will get created and will get opened, but the font size is very less. So, what I'll do is I'll go to window, preferences, general. Expand this appearance, expand this color sign fonts, basic. Under that, go for text font, click on edit. I prefer 18 as a size, font size, apply, apply and close. Now you can see the code properly on the screen. Now inside this, I'll create a test engine test method, public void, sample test, I'll say. Some random names I'm giving for everything. And I'll convert this normal method into a test engine test method. At the rate test, I'll give. Click on save. Hover the mouse on this. You see, I'm not getting any import option to import this uh, test annotation from test engine library because in this project, test engine library is not there. So what I'll do is I'll just right click on this project, create new folder. I'll just name this folder as LIB or library, whatever the name you want to give, you can give. Now, I would like to get the test engine library for you. How to get that? For that, I'll go to this uh, website. That is a uh, MVN repository. I just now opened the browser here. And in this, I'll browse for MVN repository. In this MVN repository, search for test engine like this. Once you search for test engine, you'll get this test engine from org.testng. Click on that. Now I need the jar file, okay? So I'll take the version 7.8.0, which is the latest. And here I can see the dependency and here I can see the jar file. I'll click on this jar and it started downloading here. You see the jar file is getting downloaded here. Right click on this and say showing folder, you'll be taken to the location where it got downloaded in our machine, okay? So this one, once you get here, Copy this jar file, come back to the project and paste it under the LIB. 
like this. Okay. Now, right click on the project, configure that jar file for that select properties. Here, Java build path option will be there. Select that. Now, select libraries. Here, module path, class path is there. If class path is not there, directly you can add jars. If class path is there, select the class path and say add jars. And the project will come, the same project will come here. Expand that, expand the library and select this jar file, say OK and say apply and say apply and close. That's it. This SSNG got configured successfully in this project. Now hold the mouse on at the rate test and import this test annotation from testng library. That's great. Now inside this, I'm going to write some Selenium motivation code like this web driver, driver is equal to new Chrome driver. Hold the mouse on this. I'm not able to import because this project doesn't have the Selenium library configured. So I'll go to the official website of Selenium that is selenium.dev and go to the downloads. Here under the Selenium client and web driver language bindings, I'll go to the Java and under that I'll find this first one. Click on the link. It's getting downloaded here. Once done, say show in folder. It's taking some time, some more time. Here uh, folder option should come. Let's wait for it to download completely. As we can see, it got uh, downloaded and uh, we can open this in the folder now. And we got this zip file. Now extract the zip file here, right click, extract all. Click on extract. We'll get all the jar files related to Selenium on extracting that zip file. So let's wait for this to complete. Okay, it's asking me to replace the files in the destination. Selected option, no problem. It completed. The extraction completed. And now we got this uh, extracted folder here. Open that. We'll get all the jar files of Selenium. Okay, copy all the jar files, whatever you see on the screen. Uh, better say type and uh, you'll get all the jar files together like this. Okay. Copy from here to here. These are all the list of jar files, which are outside the LIB folder for now. Copy them and paste them here. This is, a, this is one step and uh, go inside the LIB folder and copy the remaining jar files from here to here. Copy them and uh, paste it here. Right click, paste, done. Once you download and uh, copy paste all these jar files of Selenium, right click on this project, select properties, select Java build path, go to libraries tab, select class path, click on add jars, same way, go to the LIB and select all the things except that test engine thing, select everything. Okay, so test engine is already configured. So remaining jar files of Selenium, you just select and apply here. All the icons will get changed here and say apply and close. Done. You see everything got configured. Now over the mouse on web driver here, you will get the import statement because Selenium library is now configured. Now write down driver dot manage dot window dot maximize and driver dot get. Give any application URL. This much is enough. Okay, for us to prove. So I'll just uh, take you to some sample application. Copy this URL and paste it here. That's it. The sample script I would like to run. Okay, so fine. Now let me run it from here instead of from the bat file. Let me run it and see what's happening here. The problem is I'm not getting any test engine option to run. The reason is in this Eclipse ID, I need to install the plugin known as test ng plugin. Okay, how to install? For that, we have to go to the official website of testng, testng.org, select Eclipse, select installation, click on install the plugin, scroll down, Eclipse plugin section, install from update site, copy this URL, come back here. And uh, what we have to do here is we have to follow the instructions here. Select help install new software here in Eclipse ID, help install new software. You'll get that dialog. Now, copy this URL and paste into the work with field. Work with field. Okay. Here, paste it here. Here, pending is there. It will get converted to test engine in a while. Select that. Click on next. 
Now we are installing testng plugin in Eclipse ID so that we can run testng test methods in this project. It will take a while. I'll just pause and resume the recording whenever required. Now simply click on finish and select this unsigned. Select always trust all. Yes, I accept the risk and say trust selected. TestNG is now getting installed in this uh, Eclipse ID as a plugin. Once that is there, we will be able to run this TestNG test. Let's restart. It's asked. So I have just selected restart. In a while, test, uh, this Eclipse ID will get restarted and uh, TestNG plugin will be successfully installed and be ready for us to run the TestNG test. So let's wait for the Eclipse ID to Eclipse ID has successfully launched now and uh, we have to make sure whether that uh, TestNG plugin has been installed or not. Simply right click here and select run as if you are getting the TestNG option that means TestNG has been successfully installed. Let's select the TestNG test and see whether this particular test runs or not. If it runs, we'll open the Chrome browser, maximize the browser window and it will open the application URL in the browser. But there is a problem. What is the problem? This kind of error is coming. You can see is expected. What we have to do to overcome this error? And I'm going to tell you. Unable to initialize main class of testng remote remote testng caused by Java Lang no class def found error com bust j commander. So we have to search for j commander in MVN repository. Go for MVN repository and search for j commander and from com.bust you will get this j commander and in this take the latest version whatever you have and again click on this jar the jar file for j commander will get downloaded click on this uh, folder and it will be taken where the j commander jar file is available copy this and uh, paste it here in this project under the lib folder Paste it here. Okay. Once pasted, we have to configure it. Right click, properties, Java build path, class path, add jars. Again, the project, LAB folder, and go for J commander. Select it. Only this one you have to select. Say OK. Now say apply. Here, the J commander icon will change. Say apply and close. That's it. Once that is done, once the progress is done here, simply right click, run as test change test. Let's see what will happen this time. This time it is running fine without any error. The error got resolved. Okay. Earlier we got the error when J commander was not there. Now the error got resolved. And it's working fine. Now, once the project situation is like this, I want to run this testng test by using a bat file, dot bat file. How to do that? For that, right click on the project, select testng and say convert to testng. So a testng XML file will be directly created under this project with this uh, configuration and all. Click on finish simply. Once this is done, now what we have to do next is we have to create a bat file containing some instructions. Okay, how to create the bat file? So for that, simply type notepad. We'll get this notepad app or notepad, whatever it is. Just select that, it will open the notepad. And in this notepad, we have to type some commands. Here I have listed down the commands. First, set, first command is set project location and give the project location okay right now set project location this is the name of some variable kind of stuff is equal to give the location where the project is available right click on this and select properties and go to resource you will get the project location copy this project location cancel and come back here and paste it. this is the first step after this, what we have to do? We have to say CD and say same project location. Copy this project location and before and after that, 
put percentile symbol so that it will take the value of the project location here. Done. That is second command. Okay, you can see here. Now we have to set the class path. Set class path is equal to. For that we have to go till the project location that is uh, till here slash bin folder. Okay, but the dot class files are available. And a semicolon, one more thing, one more location we have to give for the class path. That is where the library, libraries like testng library, selenium libraries, j commander libraries are available in the project. Okay, two paths we have to give. For that, simply set class path. Again, percentile, project location, percentile, same thing. This one you can copy paste if you want. Then slash bin folder. Okay, bin folder where dot class files will be available in the project. And other uh, class path location you have to give is again the project location slash lib folder. Here in the project, we have this lib folder where the jar files are available, right? That lib folder under the lib folder, all the jar files. Okay, this is what we have to write. And after this, we have to simply write one more statement that is Java, Java or dot stng dot stng. After that, give the project location like this. After the project location, we have to give the path of the testng.xml file, which is directly there under the project. Project location path under the testng.xml file. Testng.xml file. That's it. This steps we have to write. Now, after this, for the command prompt to not exit and all, we have to write pass here, say file. Save as. I'll go to the downloads folder. And here I'll save this. You can go any location in your machine where you have less files. And uh, so that you can identify this bat file. And simply name this as a demo dot bat. Okay. And I'll change it to all files. And save. A demo dot bat file will be created. And it will contain all these commands. Now go to the downloads folder. You see where the demo.bat file is available. Now double click here. From the com command prompt, all the commands will be running. Whatever the commands I mentioned in the demo.bat file, one by one, they will be running. You see the everything. You see, you can see the script running also. This is how we can run the Selenium scripts from a bat file using testng. Okay, that's what is the question, right? What we have to write inside a dot bat file this is what we have to write inside a dot bat file to execute Selenium scripts. Okay, to execute Selenium scripts using testng. Okay, with the help of testng. So these are the instructions we have to write. So hope guys you got the answer for this question with practical demonstration and all. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye bye.